Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shane and this is going to be a quick kind of an update slash hunting video on this uh, gold dollar 66 that I have. Um, that last video, I was a little more optimistic than <laughs> I thought because, uh, yeah, this razor turned out to be quite the difficult one. Um, <clears throat> judging from the, <clears throat> sorry, the light shining from the bevel, it looks pretty even on both sides. But, uh, this side over here, yeah, the one with the gold dollar facing or the etching, um, the top half of the toe is very stubborn. Um, there is this one part over here, right here on the edge that is like, that is not being sharp. Uh, rest of the edge is doing okay. And I've had to use a lot of rolling X strokes. I didn't want to use it, but uh, basically this top 25% of the blade wasn't even touching the stone at all. So I had to roll it so that um, the edge would touch. Um, so <clears throat> I worked on the 1K a lot, Shotgun Pro 1K. Um, I used without tape and I added the tape to kind of increase the angle and try to um, allowed all, all of the, the tips of the edge to touch the stone, but I don't know what's, um, I mean, gold dollars, they take a lot of work to set the bevel, but this one has been really challenging. Um, for some reason, this, this side of the face is fine. The other side, um, as I said before, is a bit challenging, but I'm gonna continue on trying to make this one part of the edge sharp because that's really annoying me. Like this part right here, is not getting sharp. Um, there used to be light shining through um, on the top, on the tip of the edge, which means that it is dull. But um, the light is gone, but it's still not cutting hair at all. So rest of the edge is fine. Just this one part over here is not cutting hair. So I gotta, I gotta get it back to shape. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna, uh, I have two layers of tape here. Um, just gonna do some back and forth and X strokes and some rolling X strokes. Um, basically, when I do this motion, this part of the edge is not touching the stone. When I'm, when I'm going forward, I could visibly see the lack of undercut uh, in, in that part right here. Um, if I go fast, It'll seem like there is undercut, but um, it's basically the undercut from the rest of the edge flowing down to the toe, uh, and it's not real undercut. So I was a little bit fooled uh, yesterday, but now I'm good to go, and I know what to do to work at it. So I'm doing some rolling X strokes to try to get all of the edge touching the stone and get that part of the toe sharp because I spent <laughs> all night yesterday trying to set the bevel on this one and I still can't set it. So I am continuing on day two of setting this bevel. <clears throat> that one part of the edge will not even cut hair. So I am a little bit frustrated, but um, it's just part of the process and with uh, some of the gold dollars, that initial setting the bevel process can be quite challenging, and I know that. Um, but um, I've uh, honed several gold dollars and gold monkeys by now, so I thought I would have an easier time. But um, even when I know what to do, uh, the actual process is a bit longer than what it seems. And the Shapton 1K. It's a, it's a pretty coarse stone compared to this 1500 here. Uh, it seems a lot coarser, um, like judging by the feel, my fingers. Uh, so I am a little bit more hesitant to stay a long time on there. On this stone, it feels a bit smoother and less damaging to the razor. So I'm able to spend a little bit longer time here. But, uh, and especially now that I have tape on the razor, I don't have to worry about excessive uh, spine wear. 
So I'm just going to continue on here. Some rolling X stroke, trying to get that part of the edge sharp. Do some spine leading strokes. Back to straight. And I probably will not set the bevel on this video either. I'm probably going to have to spend a bit more time after this video and just continuing on the same process um, to get that part of the edge sharp because yeah, it's been a little bit challenging as I've explained, but <clears throat> my guess is that if I spend enough time that uh, this part, the stubborn part of the edge will be sharp soon. I don't know what that timing is, but I'm going to continue at it and I'm guessing like 30 minutes to an hour. I should be able to get that part, uh, get that stubborn edge sharpened, but and this is what I've found with some of the gold dollars I've been working with. Basically, um, either towards the heel or the toe, um, you'll see this kind of dark spot towards the tip of the edge. Um, that is not actually contacting the stone. <clears throat> so what I usually have to do is, um, hone without tape <clears throat> to allow a little, little bit of spine wear and to just um, allow the full contact on the edge by uh, keep honing on it. And then once I'm close, then I will add a tape like a layer or two layers of tape to kind of increase the angle so that I can um, get a better contact on the tip of the edge. But yeah, it's been, it's been challenging. I'm still learning. Uh, I think honing gold dollars is a little different compared to vintages because they are faced with some different challenges uh, such as bad grinds or just some weird funky stuff, but um, I find that <coughs> once I set the bevel on the gold dollar, then I'm able to work with it a bit easier than some of the other vintages. But uh, yeah, I just uh, rinsed off the swarf, uh, rotate the stone, let me check out here. Yonda? Hmm. Doing the thumb thumbnail test, um, it's grabbing onto the thumb pretty well. So, but um, it's just not cutting well for some reason. It's gonna continue on here. The same process, going back and forth, X strokes and rolling X strokes, trying to improve the edge, to make it sharp and actually cut hair because uh, yeah, if you're not cutting hair at the, the initial bevel stage, you're not gonna have a good time later on. At least that's been my experience. It's all about the bevel for me. Foundation. If it's not cutting cleanly, easily at the uh, after you set the bevel, then polishing it is not going to help that much. You gotta have that thinnest width possible at that uh, tip of the edge. Make it into a single line that touches on both sides of the edge. And that's how, how you will get a successful edge. Close cutting, and then once it is close cutting, then you could polish it, use some natural stones to make it comfortable into this buttery smooth edge, but the cutting power has to be there first. I think uh, setting the bevel and maxing it out really 
establishes that cutting power, uh, making sure the blade cuts. Doesn't matter how it feels if it doesn't cut. So I've been spending a lot of time at the bevel stage, making sure it is good to go. Getting some uh, good undercut, but <laughs> undercut doesn't matter if it's not cutting. There's just one, yeah, one part of the edge not cutting, so I'm continuing to work at it. It's about right here, right here, that is not cutting. I did, I've done some like, like spot treatments on that exact side. I don't want to go for it too long because doing extended amount of spot treatment can make some uh, irregularity on the edge. So you want to have a continuous kind of um, flowing motion, not a focus on one part of the edge because that's going to create some funky stuff. Okay, and continuing on the roaming X strokes. I feel like this should, at this point, it sh should improve the edge and should be at a point where it cuts hair. But um, <laughs> yeah, when I was working with it yesterday, even after like 30 minutes, an hour, it wasn't cutting hair. So something was off. Oop. Be careful. But I'm hoping that as I continue to work at it, I will notice some improvements. All right. <coughs> cool. I'm rinse off the stone again. Rinse off the blade. And check it. Check if it's uh, cutting hair. <coughs> I think I'll. Uh, yeah, leave the video here. A little, little palms dropping. I'm gonna check it. If it cuts here, if it doesn't, then I'll uh, continue on later tonight. But uh, I'm gonna check it here. Hmm. Yeah, it's not cutting here. So I am not sure what's up with this stubborn part of the edge. <clears throat> Judging from it, um, it seems fine. I don't see any... Um, hmm. There might be a little chip, like a minor chip on that part of the edge. Um, yeah, something is up, but there is a, towards this part here, something is off in between the G and the O right here. Uh, I'm not sure what is wrong, but, um, I got more work to do and I think I just need to work at it more. Because uh, I don't think I need to change much, but just uh, keep working at it. I got a tape on. Uh, I'm not going to have what do you call it? excessive fine wear. Um, but I'm just going to keep on working, on working on this edge until I get that one spot correct. And I'm not going to move on until I do that because, um, yeah, there's no point. All right. So that was it for this video. Um, <laughs> uh, no real progress today. Yeah. I just kept, kept working on the bevel, spent some time on the chapter 1.5 K and I got more work to do. Um, it, the, the part of the edge 
didn't really improve, didn't get sharp. Um, I gotta work at it more. Yeah, not much to say. Sorry if this, uh, <laughs> if this video wasted your time, but uh, I'm just documenting uh, part of the process. Yeah, so some razors, I really have a hard time setting the bevel. Like this one, something's going off at the tip of the edge here. Uh, whether it's not uh, contacting the stone all the way, or if there are some chips there, or some, I don't know, pitting metal or something, metal pitting, whatever it is. Um, from the looks of my eyes, uh, I could see maybe some some roughness on the edge, maybe some minor chips, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on working on it and trying to get rid of that roughness and make it back uh, into a sharp cutting edge. All right, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll be continuing to work on this tonight and maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after that until I set this bevel. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you.